what's going on YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you some quick and easy steps how to clean your wheels on your car, so let's get straight to it. But just before we go any further, make sure you smash that subscribe button. 97% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can get some more content for you. Let's get straight to it. Once you rinse off all the, the loose dust, I then look to apply some fallout remover. Um, this brings out all the iron from the wheels. Um, so I'll apply that and then I'll leave that for a couple of minutes and then spray some snow foam on top of that. And you'll see that a lot of the, when it starts to turn purple, that's when all the iron has sort of been contaminated between the two and you'll start to see it bleed, they call it, um, and it'll start to turn purple and you'll see that trickling off the car now. So once I've rinsed all that down, I then look to clean the tyre walls in the car. For this I'm going to use the citrus pre-wash. I'll apply this to the car and to the tyres and then I will scrub the tyre the as best as I can with quite a rigid brush. Um, this kind of aggravates any sort of tyre gel and any of the dirt that you've got in the car. So in the summertime it's not too bad. In the winter you've got quite a lot of muck that will all sort of splash up from the roads. Um, probably a bit of mud as well, so you want to sort of agitate it as much as you can. Um, and you start to see it will turn brown. These are quite clean on this occasion, but normally it starts to turn quite brown. And then once we're happy with that, we'll then rinse all that off as well. First thing that I'll then do to actually clean the wheels themselves, I'll apply some uh, Easy Car Care Viper, which is a wheel cleaner. Spray that inside the barrels on the car and also on the front face of the wheel as well. Um, and I always clean the barrels first. Now I've got some long sort of brushes that I can use to get in the back of those wheels and actually clean them out. It's quite difficult when you've got quite big brakes like I have on the front of the S3. Um, I had to use kind of a smaller tool you'll see in the video. Um, but you really want to agitate that and then work from the top down as well. And that brings a lot of the dirt off through the back of the wheel. So once the barrels of the wheels are nice and clean, I then look, want to look to clean the lug nuts on the cars. This is where you've got the studs for the wheels and the lock and wheel nut key as well. Um, I always start with doing that. Once I'm happy that those are all cleaned out, I then clean the face of the wheel and try and agitate any of the little grooves. These wheels are quite awkward because they've got a lot of spokes. Um, the previous wheels are like a five spoke wheel. Those are nice and easy to clean, but these are a little bit more awkward and take a bit more time. So when you've got these sort of wheels, you want to kind of take a bit more time and a bit more care to make sure you've got in all the little nooks and crannies as well. And then once you're happy with that, and um, we can wash that off afterwards.
So now that the wheels are nice and clean, we want to just look to dry it as best as possible. I've got a dedicated uh, drying towel just for the wheels alone. Um, so you want to dry the tyre walls down, probably with a microfiber cloth, probably an old one that you're not going to use much. Um, and then just use a dedicated drying towel just to dry it as much as possible. Some people have got air dryers and if you want to blow a lot of the water out of the lug nuts. Um, I haven't probably got to that stage just yet, um, but that is something that you could do. Um, but for this occasion I felt it was suitable just to dry it down with a drying towel. So the last thing that you want to do is dress those tyres. Some people like this, some people don't. I still prefer it to be honest with you. Um, I use the Auto Gloom tyre dressing, it comes up really nice. Um, I've got like a dedicated sort of foam um, sponge which is quite good to apply it as well. But you don't want to put too much on because it tends to drip on the wheel. Um, but yeah, dress the tyres and then you're all done. So. So that's it for today's video. Got some nice clean wheels on the S3. Um, those Team Dynamics are looking nice and clean. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. Let me know if there's anything you want to see, but otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.